Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a coloring page like this one into a multi-layered image with colors like this one. We won't be using this image exactly. I'll be using a simpler image, but that's basically to give you the gist of the idea so you can go apply what you've learned to your own project. So let's get started. All right, so here's our image. The first thing I'm going to do is select it and go over to duplicate. And I'm going to hide the duplication. This is just in case something bad happens and I just want to delete everything. So then you'll go to shapes, insert a square, resize it to cover the whole image. And this is just two layers, which is great. So I'm going to select both of those and then go down to slice. Slice only works with two layers. I'm going to move that to the side and remove the outline that sliced as well. We don't need that one. We do want the colored in part. So now I'm going to change the color of that layer. And I'm going to, while that's selected, I'm going to go down to contour. I'm going to click on hide all contours. You'll notice everything hides except for that top square right there. That's so that the image doesn't disappear. So you just have to select what you really want and then deselect the square and you'll be fine. You and click the X and that's gonna be your body. So you're gonna do the same thing. Insert a shape, make it the same size, select both images, click slice, and then remove the outline, select your square, change the color of that layer, and contour out what you don't want. And you can either um, click the square in that little column over there, or you can click the square, you know, in the image there. Either one works. And you can start probably to see how you're going to get the colored layers this way. So we'll do the final one just to kind of drive the point home. Insert the shape, cover the image, select the image and the shape, slice move the contoured, I'm sorry, move the square, move the outline, get rid of the outline, select the square, change that color to whatever layer you want, go down to contour, and then contour out, hide all contours, so contour out everything, select what you wanna keep, and then hide that big square at the top. And there's the third layer. So you can kind of put everything together if you want to see how it's going to look, just to make sure that you're not forgetting anything. Doesn't have to be perfectly lined up on here because you're going to be layering it in person later. That looks fine. You can see over in that column all of the layers. And then you'll click Make It. And it's automatically going to separate everything into each different color to cut on separate mats. And that's it. So hopefully that gave you guys some good instruction on how to make this multi-layer image. Good luck making whatever you want to make later on. And if you have any ideas for future videos or questions or comments, please feel free to leave me something in the comments section down below. And I'll see you guys again next time.